uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm very glad to be here to uh, introduce the, the Node uh, WebKit project to you. Uh, and my name is uh, Roger Wang, as uh, introduced, and I'm from uh, uh, Intel, and uh, uh, I, I just came here uh, from China. <coughs> so uh, what's a uh, Node WebKit project? Uh, it's a runtime for the web developers to develop uh, native desktop applications. And, uh, and it does so by combining the Chromium uh, browser and the uh, Node.js project. So uh, from the browser's uh, perspective, uh, you can use uh, all the uh, Node.js uh, platform libraries uh, directly from DOM. That means you can call all the uh, Node.js functions directly, and the JavaScript ob uh, objects can refer to each other directly uh, in the same thread. And from the <coughs> Node.js uh, perspective, it provides a nice uh, GUI solutions for the JavaScript uh, developers, and uh, it uh, uses all the technologies you are uh, already familiar with, uh, including HTML5, WebGL, uh, and so on. So, uh, so uh, why uh, Node.js uh, is uh, chosen for the uh, for extending the uh, browser's uh, capabilities because uh, it's a popular JavaScript uh, platform and it has uh, a very large number of uh, libraries uh, and uh, 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 developers can uh, make use of. And uh, it's actually very fast and lightweight, uh, uh, so it can be uh, user even on a uh, mobile platform on the client side. And another important reason is that it uh, uses the same JavaScript engine uh, as the engine in Chromium, so the two projects can be combined uh, uh, directly uh, very easily. And uh, it also provides a packaging mechanism, so you can uh, transform your existing code for your uh, uh, web apps uh, directly to a uh, desktop apps. Uh, as shown in this picture, suppose you already have your uh, uh, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS files, and uh, all the resources like uh, images, and you just need to uh, write a manifest. Uh, a manifest file named package.json, and then zip it and uh, ship it together with the Node, uh, Node WebKit runtime. It looks like a standalone uh, native executable file to the, uh, to the end user. So uh, to them, uh, they might be thinking uh, they are uh, just running a native desktop applications. And uh, uh, during all the process, you don't even to know uh, any C or C++ stuff. So uh, even you are uh, pure uh, web developers and you can develop desktop apps now. <clears throat> uh, next, I will uh, introduce a little bit on the uh, manifest file. That's the only file you will need to add it to your uh, Web apps. Uh, the picture is an example. The only uh, mandatory fields are the uh, name fields and the, the main fields. The, uh, the main fields uh, specify the uh, starting page of your uh, applications, and the uh, name field act as, as uh, some kind of ID field. And uh, you can also put uh, the initial properties of the uh, of the uh, application window, such as uh, 
its uh, dimensions and uh, whether it is a, a full screen and whether it is uh, resizable and so on. And uh, uh, you can also specify some uh, JavaScript flags to enable or disable the features uh, of the V8 JavaScript engine. And uh, the uh, and as you can see, the name of the uh, manifest file is the same as the uh, as uh, many uh, Node.js modules. So you can actually uh, mix this, uh, mix it together with your uh, existing uh, Node.js applications. You can just uh, add the uh, fields for uh, Node WebKit into your existing. <coughs> package uh, package.json file, and then you you will need to uh, package it and uh, uh, distribute it for the uh, desktop uh, platforms. Currently, it supports uh, all the three uh, major desktop uh, desktop platforms, and the packaging process is kind of uh, straightforward. Uh, this slide uh, lists one of the uh, packaging ways. As you can see, you can just uh, you can just appending the zip file of your applications right uh, at the end of the the Node WebKit executable, and then uh, you redistribute it uh, to the end users, so it looks like uh, a native app. Uh, to the, there are also uh, grant tools from the community that can uh, automatic this process for you. So you can just run grant it, uh, and then it will uh, package it for you for all the three platforms. Uh, as uh, as Chromium, it also comes with a debug tool. It's actually the uh, Chromium. Debug tool uh, 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 inside the Chromium, so you can debug the uh, DOM code as well as the code from uh, Node.js there. And so, uh, because it combines Node.js uh, directly into the DOM, so uh, you can use all the uh, modules from uh, Node.js directly, and here is a, a example. Uh, you can read the files from DOM, and uh, you can get the uh, CPU uh, information. Uh, one thing you need to remember is that uh, Node, Node WebKit comes with a copy of Node.js uh, inside it, so all the uh, built-in modules are uh, available uh, in your uh, applications, and it also supports third-party uh, Node.js modules uh, as long as you ship it with your application. And uh, uh, Node, uh, uh, Node WebKit also comes with uh, native GUI libraries, so you can create uh, native uh, GUI elements uh, with it. Here is an example of a menu. The code is on the uh, left uh, is on the left side. Uh, there is a special built-in module named uh, nw.gui that uh, that pro uh, provides all the native GUI elements. Uh, as you can see, you can create a, a native uh, menu and. Uh, Add JavaScript code uh, into the callbacks of it, and it also supports a uh, system tree and uh, shell functions, so that you can uh, launch URL with the external de uh, default browser, and you can also open uh, some items in the uh, default file explorer or uh, show it uh, in the folder. And uh, uh, it also supports uh, all the native uh, modules from uh, Node.js platforms. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, 
that uh, you must link the native module with a uh, node WebKit, uh, not, not Node.js. Uh, so we uh, provide a tool called NWGYP uh, to replace uh, Node.GYP for it. It will link against uh, Node WebKit for you. Uh, in the uh, workshop uh, this afternoon, I will show how to uh, use it. And it also comes with an experimental feature called a snapshot. It, it is used to protect your JavaScript code. code. So it works uh, in this way. Uh, you compile your JavaScript code into a machine code with a tool called NW Snapshot. And uh, then in the manifest file, uh, you just need to load it into the applications. And then uh, you can call all the uh, functions in that uh, JavaScript file. In the distribution of your applications, uh, there is no source code of uh, full.js in this example. And uh, uh, of course, you can uh, control the uh, window of the applications in many ways, and you can uh, hide it, show it, maximize it, minimize it, or uh, moving it. The internal of uh, Node WebKit looked like this. As you know, there is a V8 uh, JavaScript engine from Node.js, and in Chromium, there are also a uh, WebKit engine with uh, V8. Of course, it's called uh, Blink now. Uh, that's the, uh, that has something to do to the uh, confusion of the name of the project, because when it was started, the inside part of the chromium is still named uh, WebKit, it's not Blink. Uh, but uh, today, uh, uh, no, the WebKit is still based on the uh, chromium uh, engine. So technically, it should be called Node Blink, but uh, the name uh, is not changed. So they, the, the, the two parts share a single instance of the V8 JavaScript engine. So the JavaScript objects between them can refer to each other directly, and the function calls can, uh, m can be made uh, directly in the same thread, and there is no uh, IPC involved. Another important part is uh, that it shares a different security model with the web uh, applications. Uh, I listed the, the uh, different, uh, different model from uh, desktop applications and uh, web applications in browser. Uh, in browser, your apps is uh, downloaded and uh, run on the user side on the fly from the internet. So it's not trusted by user by default. When it tries to access to native devices like your uh, location and camera, at runtime, it needs to ask for user's permissions uh, by some uh, dialogues. Uh, but for a native desktop application like your uh, Skype, you trust it when you uh, install it uh, in your computer, and then it can do everything it wants uh, in, your com uh, in your computer. So as you can see, the security model is very different. Since Node WebKit supports you to develop a native desktop application, so it follows the, the uh, native app uh, applications module. So that means your code can do everything it can on the computer. As you can see, it can uh, access to files uh, and uh, uh, any hardware as it wants. But uh, as you know, the web engine 
uh, the web engine provides uh, some uh, security features that works for the web locations, such as uh, that uh, you cannot do cross uh, origin uh, access. Uh, that has changed in the uh, Node WebKit project. So the security model is like this. There are two kinds of frames in uh, Node WebKit, and one is uh, the normal frames, just as in browser, and the other is called the uh, node frames. The node frames can do uh, u uh, universal access to all the other frames. So it can do uh, cross-domain uh, access, and it has uh, access to uh, all the uh, Node.js capabilities. And it can also uh, goes around other security checks in the uh, web engine, like uh, setting the values of the file input el uh, element directory. While in browser, uh, it, uh, the value can only be set by the end user by opening uh, a file dialogs. There are also custom uh, features like NW Fake Top. It lets you to embed any website into an iframe. As you know, uh, many uh, websites will check that uh, whether it runs in the uh, iframe. Uh, so in uh, Node WebKit, there are supports that make it think that uh, it's running in the top frame. And it also have uh, other uh, <coughs> native support like a uh, frameless window and uh, clipboard and uh, other features like uh, WebGL and WebRTC and it also comes with, with the uh, web, uh, web driver support so you can use the uh, automatic testing tools to test your applications. Uh, so uh, that's, my, uh, that's all uh, for my talk today. So in the workshop uh, this afternoon and uh, tomorrow's afternoon, I will show you some uh, examples uh, uh, to uh, let you know how to use these features. Thanks. <laughs>